Dear Season 1 players, you are not OG. This qualifies for Season 2 players as well. Just because you started in 2017, the year that Battle Royale has just begun, does not mean that you are actually OG. What means is that you have played since the first time that Battle Royale has came out. But really, does that mean anything? Nah. But let me explain why before you get all confused. So, Fortnite. Those of you who may know is Fortnite is a game that is Battle Royale, and Fortnite is actually a real, a real word that means 14 days in some sort of British content. But what I'm, aside from that, they have these people that started the game first called OGs. Now, OG usually comes from the term original gangster, but in this case, it's basically original gamer. So, I'm just gotta say, season one was great, like, but it was better when it was just defaults. Like, when it was just season one, there was no toxicity, there was no rare items, there was nothing that you could be entitled to but your own account. The only thing that I wish that was different back then was roleplay mode and choosing your own default. But it's gonna be very hard to find the next Minecraft game, basically, because Fortnite is the new Minecraft, and let, let's just say... Fortnite is better than Minecraft because it's free, it has guns, you can build better, and it makes more sense. But what I gotta say aside from that is that not everyone uh, has to play Fortnite, you just have to respect it because most of the people who don't even like Fortnite ha rather have never played it or rather have just hated it for no apparent reason, which is pretty selfish if I do say so myself. But what I am saying right now is that OGs, they, like, what they're there for is so they can complain and stuff. But, do I blame them? Of course I do. Because, like, nothing in the item shop should be considered rare and everyone in the old days of Fortnite to this current day, they hate it when rare things come back. But I just can't wait to see when the Recon Expert comes out just so you guys can cry about it. I'm not saying this to all OGs, but I'm just saying this to the bad ones. And by bad, I don't mean bad at the game. I mean, like, bad as in they shouldn't even be playing in the first place. So, Fortnite. Yes, it is a building game, and it's also a shooting game. It's kind of like Minecraft and Call of Duty. But if you notice about this game, there's more to it. Some of it requires imagination and skills, but Season 1... It was the golden year, well not golden year, it was the golden age of the soldiers, I'm guessing, of the whole island. And also, season 2 players, they think that they are OG too because they started when the game half came out. Well that doesn't make it anything because OGs and um, like season 1 and 2 OGs, they, they do not go together at all. And besides, what purpose does it serve? And also, does having a skin from back there make you toxic? No, only if you use it in battle. Because you are making, you are kind of flexing on people, making the game ruined more than it already was from you OGs. And it's not supposed to be like this. The balance Fortnite is kind of off scale, and this is what should happen. Every, every Halloween, the gold trooper comes back or any halloween skin comes back every christmas christmas skin should come back every once in a while the recon expert should come back every soccer season in real life the soccer skin should come back like what i bought and a lot of things should come back just at the right time i mean like just as long as christmas skins don't come back early that's good but the real balance Fortnite is basically what I'm saying is it's getting a bit tipped off scale. Mainly because these OGs think that they're good just because they have skins and stuff. Well think about it, you were a default once too. And but did that make you bad? Yes, it did. But it doesn't it didn't make you bad because you were a default. It made you bad because you started when the first game came out. But I'm I'm not complaining. If you are a save the world OG, then you are not toxic very much because 
you have nothing to brag about. And also, like, let's be real, guys. What what service does OG status have? I mean, like, all it is is just saying that, hey, I'm in the game, I'm OG now. Like, that doesn't mean anything. I, I could have started yesterday and said, hey, I'm an OG, but that doesn't matter. What does matter is how you play the game. How you play the game makes you bad, not because you're a default. Some people even use default skins as disguises. And do I blame them? Hell no. Because I usually used to play as a default just for fun, but until I realized it wasn't fun because I really couldn't choose who I wanted to be, so I bought a couple skins that looked just like defaults, and then I kept on wasting my money. Thanks, Fortnite. Just what I needed. But I'm not blaming the game. I'm blaming the players because these players, they're, they're practically the reason why the game is ripped to shreds. And also, saying stuff like, like, you're a virgin if you play Fortnite. First off, like, you'll be laughing when you lose, like, when you lose your virginity early and when you're an adult. And also, like, Minecraft has nothing to do with any good things. And Minecraft is not where the real OGs are at. Minecraft is where the c gamers, like, not the original gamers, but rather the constructors. But it's complicated because Fortnite was supposed to be a game where everyone could play not so you can keep it to yourself and basically ma mainly the reason why half of the map is gone is because of you guys the map should never have been updated in the first place the only thing that should have been updated was Neo Tilted and possibly Lucky Landings be and before you guys say Neo Tilted's trash shut up I don't fucking care this is what is the deal with Neo Tilted. You only l hate it because it's not OG, but in reality, you would want to live there because of the advanced technology. But this is... I'm just going to say it right here. Like, Neo Tilted is not bad because it's not OG. I mean, like, even if Tilted Towers was, like, the Neo Tilted of Tilted Towers or something, then that would make people bad. But, no, guys, like, the screw off, man, you're... You're ruining all the fun for people. And what purpose does that serve? None. I literally, like, basically, if you're an OG, I most likely am going to hate you. But that that's not the point. The point being is that you ruined Fortnite just by, not just by playing it, but by making it a game for yourselves. And also, Fortnite, you really need to stop promoting these OGs, not... Not that I'm telling, trying to tell you what to do with your game, but rather, I'm just trying to tell you, like, how your game should be balanced, because if you want your game to be balanced, stop promoting toxicity, because it's just not right. And also, these dances that you're making, like, you shouldn't let people dance on everyone. Like, after you get an elimination, you shouldn't be killing, like, you shouldn't be able to dance for, like, at least five minutes. Just to show that you can't brag. Or at least until the spectator's not seeing you. I just don't know how to say it, but part of the reason why the game is ruined is because of the OGs and the non-OGs. I'm not saying that all OGs are bad. I'm just saying the ones that started in season 1 or 2 are the, the bad ones. And the ones that think that the whole game is theirs. It really isn't. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this game, and please subscribe. This game clip was from Ninja, believe it or not, his second game. His other one got archived. Subscribe to Fortnite TV, because I'm using their content right now, and see y'all next time. Goodbye.